In this video we're going to discuss how to uh, adjust your control cage to get the best performance out of your BP9110 shot blaster. The control cage is the component inside the blast housing that controls where the pattern gets set on the ground. Uh, ideally, you want what's called the hot spot right in the middle, middle of your pattern. The hot spot is the highest intensity of shot blasting. Uh, it's pretty evident on concrete. You can tell that uh, the center is getting blasted a little bit harder than uh, the rest of the, the profile. Another good uh, tip is to have a piece of scrap steel, a uh, quarter inch preferably, that you can paint and set the machine on, turn it on, and you can very easily see where the pattern's hitting. And then you can make adjustments accordingly. So we'll go through how to make those adjustments. Our first step is to remove the feed spout. This is the component that the shot flows through to get into the shot valve or to the blast wheel. Um, our next step is to loosen these acorn nuts, which we already have slightly loosened. So now this gives us access to the control cage, which sits right here on the control cage adapter plate. So now we can refer to the front of the machine which gives you a rough indication of where the control cage needs to rest. This opening corresponds to the opening on the control cage. So now if we are blasting too far to this side of the machine or the right side from the operator's perspective, we can rotate the control cage down slightly. We want to do it in very small increments usually an eighth of an inch or so, we'll do the trick and then we can tighten this down and reevaluate our blast pattern. You can do this, it's basically a trial and error method. These come factory set, ready to go, they're tested, fully tested for the blast pattern to make sure the hot spot's dead in the center. So once we're happy with the pattern, again we can tighten down the control cage clamps, reinstall the feed spout, which presses into the middle of the control cage and then attaches to the shot hopper. And then, unless you're changing your blast wheel or doing other maintenance on the control cage itself, the position should be ready to go.